Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to the analysis of Yoleno TV. I'm sorry yesterday I could not post any analysis because I was not feeling well. Even now I'm, not, I'm still not feeling well, but I have some interesting uh, uh, a posting that I need to share with you. You, I think you must have heard or saw that you must have seen that interview by that was done on uh, Jeremiah Kioni. And there's some things that Jeremiah Kioni revealed who Jeremiah Kioni is, but he's the Secretary General of Jubilee and one of the, one of the key, fa key players in the Jubilee, Jubilee formation. So Je Jeremiah Kioni exposed something to the people. And despite the fact that I strongly differ with what Jeremiah Kioni is saying, because this is something that he would have protected, but I still have immense respect for Jeremiah Kioni. So according to Jeremiah Kioni, the, he said that the president, the president, the president easily won against Raila Odinga under some unclear circumstances. So, Jeremiah Kion is speaking to NTV Kenya, you know, he alleged that Ruto's faults were irrationally added at the polling station. And his opinion, you know, some of the votes casted yet rejected were added to Ruto's bag, giving him an easy win. You know, these are some of the things that Jeremiah Kion is saying. That's why I said, I defy with him. You know, soon after election, there were some revelations that... Uh, Jubilee did not put agents uh, in uh, so many polling stations and that facilitated that what many people call rigging. So this is something that Jeremiah Kioni's team would have, you know, uh, protected. You know, there is a part where Jeremiah Kioni is saying that, you know, when he made those uh, uh, some allegations that this is what he said. I will give an example of one station in Karatina where when the tallying got underway and Raila had 402 votes, the presiding officer asked, Na hizi za mwenyewe atumoni, mnataka tufanye nini nazo? Weka kwa ruto, the rival agents shouted. So 400 votes were put kwa ruto and two votes were put kwa Raila. That is really mismanagement by IABC. Even if we mismanage our agents, look at the dishonesty and the level of stealing. That is Jeremiah Kioni's sentiment during that interview. Now, ladies and gentlemen, before we you know, dissect this, you know, what Jeremiah Kioni said, please take a moment and subscribe to our channel. So Jeremiah Kion is saying that the returning of the presiding officer said easy za mwenyewe ambaye atumuoni. You know, by virtue of the fact that the presiding officer said atumuoni, that means there were no agents. The chief agents, there were no agents in that polling station. So 402 votes have had to be, you know, gambled with. There were votes which were meant for Raila Molotinga. But since the owners were not there, that means the, if the owners are not there, that means the agents are not there. And who represents the owners is the agent. So if the agents were not there, that gave the presiding officer who was corrupt at that police station in Karatina an easy way of, <clears throat> of making sure that this voice can be put in a, another. They could have even, even been put on Wajakoya's or Maure's voice because the idea was that Raila Molodinga as the parties of votes. Take for instance, if they were put on Wajakoya's votes, they would have still achieved the same thing because the idea was suppress the votes of Raila Molodinga. And mind you, you know, now these things are coming out, you know, uh, to the public domain, but these were things, some of the things which the lawyers talked about during the Supreme Court battle. But you know what uh, the, the, the Chief Justice said, hot air and wild goose chase. That's what she referred to. So I think some of these things are coming out now, ought to have come out during that court session. That's why I find Jeremiah Kioni, you know, uh, uh, despite the fact that I have respect for him, 
But I think this is not the right time for him to now start revealing these things because it's not helping the situation. It's even making those as mute diehards feel bad. But all the, all the same, that is what Jeremiah Kioni exposed. What he, he further alleges that, according to him, that is, when cops asked, you know, cops, you know, the police officers, that is what he says. When the police officers asked on what could be done to the votes, Ruto's men shouted, Weka kwa Ruto. I mean, I'm not the one saying, but that's what Jeremiah Kioni said in that interview. Weka kwa Ruto. You know, that's a very shocking revelation, if that's true, you know. That means if 400, that is one polling station. Mind you, in Kenya, we have close to, you know, 40-something thousand uh, polling station. Now, if one polling station, that incident could happen, then what about if that it, it, incident could, could uh, you know, replicate in only a thousand polling stations? That would mean if only 200 votes were taken away from Raila Molodinga, so then across a thousand polling stations, that translates to 220,000 votes. So that's the thing, that's the reason why Raila Molodinga have always been saying that Hakupoteza hi kura, that hi kura alibiwa. And the place where all these things were done were in the mountain region, Mount Kenya region. That's where, according to what we see, because most of the time when you look at all the exposes, all the, the rigging exposes, they are always from the Mount Kenya region. The, so the question is, could that be the, 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 the ground where these elections were rigged? Could Mount Kenya be the place? Ladies and gentlemen, kindly share the thoughts are regarding what Jeremiah Kioni has said, because we find these things quite misplaced right now, but nevertheless, that is what Jeremiah Kioni said. Kindly share your thoughts are below the comment section. I like to hear what the thoughts are. Please, and as usual, I like to urge you to stay safe, stay blessed until we catch up again in our next analysis.